hey girls, I love you. Uh, just like y'all asked, I'm going to tell you Little Red Riding Hood. Alright, so I don't have a book with me, so I'm going to try and tell you off the top of my head. Okay? Alright, so the story of Little Red Riding Hood is talking about a little girl in a small town who wore her red hood everywhere she went. So she was known as Little Red Riding Hood. And it was one time, Little Red Riding Hood got a good idea. She wanted to take some sweets to her grandma who lived across town through the woods by the lake, right? So now her mom helped her pack the snacks and everything. It was like, hey, look, just go straight to your grandma's house. Uh, the woods are dangerous. Don't talk to anybody. Uh, don't get distracted. Just go to where you need to go and get her safe. All right. She's like, yeah, 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 mom. I got you. Too easy. I got it. Cool. So, going through the woods, following the path like she's supposed to, she sees butterflies. Oh, man, beautiful butterflies. She starts looking at the butterflies. She starts looking at the flowers. She's completely getting distracted, like her mom told her not to. And then, Big Bad Wolf, you know, he's kind of watching her the whole time. And he steps up to her, you know, trying to sound as nice and as sweet as possible. And says, little girl, where are you going all by yourself in the woods with these, with this basket? I was like, oh, I'm taking this basket of sweets to my grandma, who lives on the other side of the woods by the lake. Right? So, she got distracted, she talked to the wolf, and all of a sudden she realizes how late she is. She's like, oh my goodness, I gotta go. So she takes off running down the path uh, to try and make up time to, to get to grandma's house. But the bull, wolf, he's smart, he knows the woods. So he cuts through the woods to get to grandma's house before Little Red Riding Hood does. Smart. So he gets, to some, gets himself together, knocks on the door, it's like, come in, come in, come in. Grandma just lets the wolf in, thinking that it's her granddaughter, right? So, opens up the door. Granny is completely unexpected. Wolf jumps on her, eats her up. Eats up Granny, right? So, the wolf had a little bit of time before Little Red Riding Hood got there. So, he picks out a nice little nightgown. You know, he puts on a little bonnet, trying to camouflage himself and make himself look like the granny. So when he hears that knock on the door, he hops in the bed and he pulls, he pulls up uh, the covers up to his nose to try and kind of hide. And let's let's little ride, Red Riding Hood come on in. And little Red Riding Hood is. is Granny, it's up. are you okay? Like, what's up with your voice? He's like, oh, I got a little cough. <laughs> you know, throws in a couple coughs to to really sell the fact that he's sick. Um, but then when Little Red Riding Hood kind of gets a little closer, she sees the ears. She's like, Granny, why are your ears so big? What? The better to hear you with, my dear, says the wolf. Gets a little bit closer, notices his eyes. Granny, why are your eyes so big? And the wolf quickly says, Well, the better to see you with, my dear. Well, Red Riding Hood gets a little bit closer, is able to see, see the nose and see the mouth. Is like, Granny, why are your teeth so big? The big bad wolf says, Better to eat you with, my dear. Jumps up out of the bed, starts chasing Little Red Riding Hood all over, all around the the cabin. And while Little Red Riding Hood is running, trying to trying to juke the uh, wolf, she's yelling, she's screaming, she's yelling, "Wolf, wolf, wolf, wolf! Somebody, please help!" And it just so happened that there was a woodsman in the in the woods, not in the woods, but in the area. Right. So he hears the word wolf and he starts running. 
and runs as fast as he can, grabs his axe, and comes in the cottage, and stops that wolf, and he, um, and he's able to, to save the grandmother, you know, he's able to save, save the granny, and he takes that wolf, takes him deep, deep, deep into the woods, so that nobody ever has a problem with this big bad wolf ever again, right, now, Little Red Riding Hood, she's just so thrilled to know that her granny is okay. And they're sitting down there enjoying the sweets and she learns a big lesson about listening to her mom and about not getting, distract, getting distracted and not talking to strangers. So that's the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Hope y'all enjoy. I love y'all. I miss y'all with all my heart.